Hi, Ryan Pitts from StrongerGrip.com. Uh, I'm going to address a couple questions that I get uh, quite frequently about wrist strength, grip strength, um, especially for striking and punching. How does it help? Why, why do I need stronger wrists? Um, I got a black belt in Taekwondo, which is mostly kicking, but also studied various other uh, martial arts. Um, hit the heavy bag quite a bit. So, um, as you know, if you have a club and you hit someone with it, it's solid. It's a club, and there's no give to it. Well, same with your your wrist. When you're striking somebody, this is your club right here. And because the way we're made, our wrists do this. So, when you hit something and it buckles, it, it lessens the impact of the blow. So. If this wrist is strong and you hit somebody and, and uh, it's more solid, your punches are going to be harder. So for, for developing those strong wrists and the grip, um, I'm going to go show you a few different things. One with the Red Raptor uh, Pinch Block from StrongerGrip.com and a one that I've, I've uh, came up with last year but haven't quite got them ready. A few of the strongest men in the world do have one though, I will tell you that, and they will be available soon. Uh, one's called the, the wrist developer, rubber coating on it, offset shaft, leverage this way, and then the simple but effective uh, leverage block, which is fantastic for building the strong wrist you need for punching, uh, swinging a bat, to any, anything involving uh, your grip or wrist strength. So the basic thing we're going to do is the curl. The idea is to curl it and keep this wrist straight. Not back, but straight. So the basic curl, hold it in your palm like that. Thumb builds extreme, extremely strong thumbs also. And your fingers are that. They're coming down, straight up. You don't need a whole lot of weight because of the leverage factor. It'd be different if you're a dumbbell, and if it's a dumbbell and it's right here, but the weight is out like that. So it's amplified uh, tremendously. That's the basic leverage block curl. It uh, seems simple and, and maybe not uh, nothing fancy, but I'll tell you what, if you want results, you're, usually your best bet is simple, direct, and that's what's going to give you results. Um, it, this thing can go anywhere with you. You get a five or ten pound plate and the, pin, and the pinch block and it goes wherever you want. And with all, uh, all, all uh, strength, tension, tension is strength. So when you're doing the curl, not just a bodybuilding blah curl, you are, start with your feet, tense up from your feet, squeeze your lat, and have, have, have your whole body work as a unit. And everything's solid. Starting out with this, I would go with a light weight that you can do uh, 15, 20 repetitions. Nice and light. Get the, get the feel of keeping your wrist straight. And then uh, after, after a week or so of, of doing that, go off and on with uh, heavier weights for five reps in the nice strict fashion. And then also go with uh, lighter weights and then uh, go uh, back and forth with those. Next thing is, uh, I mean, this, this thing is really awesome. What it does, I'm going to show you uh, four different exercises that I do, um, one right after another with this. And uh, even as a bodybuilder, you'll feel your whole arm uh, get pumped up from it, but you're also going to feel your wrist get stronger and your grip, because the way this is hanging off this way, pulling, and up here. So it's going to be a curl this way, you're going to flip it over, curl it this way, keeping this straight out here. You'll notice when I curl it, that it stays out there. It means you have to squeeze it to keep it that way. If you're, if you're not strong enough, it'll actually go like that, which is still fine, but you're not going to get um, the needed resistance from it hanging off like that. So you go inside, outside, and then I do a hammer type that way and also underneath like this and uh, just switch back and forth. I'm going to do five uh, five reps per, per deal, you'll see. So start 
You can go on the outside. See the weight stays like that. Switch it to the inside, which pulls it the other way. And you will feel it all over in your arm when you're done of how it hits it. And I just go from there, go it underneath grip, kick it back, kick it back, flip it over like a gun style. Now that looks simple, I'm sure, but the, what it does is it pulls this way and that way so your wrists and your, and your tendons and ligaments are getting stronger and accommodating from it. This is a tool that's not for beginners, so definitely start light weight-wise and leverage-wise when you're using this. So here's two, uh, two great tools that you should have in your arsenal. Um, guaranteed to give you strong wrists. They travel with you anywhere you go and uh, you'll definitely get results. Thanks.